Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we will discuss about the Python. It's a common buzzwords right now in the field of data science. And uh, Python is a very important tool because every company, every student, every management system, everyone is using it. So first of all, we have to learn that how to install it. Okay, Python is nothing but a programming language which will help you to do programming. RStudio is an, another option which is also free, but I prefer Python over RStudio because RStudio has multiple number of packages which you have to apply on from time to time. But in Python, you don't have those that number of packages. You have very limited number of packages and you can do your work very uh, smoothly. So how to do download Python, how to install it? It's only a three-step process which I'm going to tell you. And even if you do not understand this, there is another uh, process which is called Google Colab, which is another very five minutes process uh, where you can utilize this Python notebooks and uh, write your codes there. So these two processes I'm going to discuss today. So please watch this video till end. So first, let's focus on the Python. The Python, how to download it first, that is the very important path. So python.org slash downloads. This is the particular path which you have to go. Go to the Google and say Python download and will bring you there. Python.org slash downloads and say download Python 3.9.7. So when you say that 3.9.7 and you click on that, so it will download here in your machine. It will show you symbol like this AMD 64. So in this particular icon, you have to double click and say, add Python 3.9 to path and say install now. Simple. That is very important part. Why? Because if you do not add Python to that particular path, it will not work properly. So that is very important path. You have to do that and then install. And that then the setup will start like this. I am doing it again because I just want to show it to you that okay, how it is working. Earlier it was installed in my system, but I have uninstalled it. I am doing it again. So three-step process. One is download from there and then say add install to that particular path and then set up. So it's a very simple thing. It will take like two minutes, I think, and it will get set up for you. So once the setup is done, we will go for the next steps, which we will do in CMD you know, uh, prompt, that is command prompt. I will tell you how to do that, but first let it be complete. So set up will take like two minutes, I think but not more than that. And once it is completed, it will show you that the setup is completed successfully. Then only you understand that, okay, my Python setup is done successfully. Three steps. One, download, uh, go to that particular path, download it. Second, start the progress, means like setup process. And then the third step, which is in the command prompt, which I will tell you, which is very simple thing to do. But uh, let's see. This command setup progress time is taking some time, but I will tell you that in the second part, we will see uh, in the same video, in the second part, we will see how to install Google Colab. For that, you don't have to download the Python. You have to just go there and start coding. It's a very simple thing which Google has developed. You know, Google is Google. Anything they can do. They want to eat space of everyone. Okay, now here uh, it is taking some time, guys. So in Python, what all we can do, why we use Python, there are so many websites available in the market. Just go there and see. See, here it is saying like setup was successful. Now you just close this. Second part is done. First part is download and download from where? Python.org slash downloads. And then I have downloaded, double click on it, and it has done the setup now. Now we will go to the command prompt, CMD, which is called. Don't worry, guys, if you do not know what to do, how to do, I will teach you everything. This is a black screen kind of thing. So first of all, we have to check that uh, what version of Python we have installed. So Python space dash dash version, V-R-S-Y-N. Don't worry, I will teach you everything, how to write commands here as well. So this is very simple. It will tell you that, okay, Saurabh, you have installed Python 3.9.7 into this particular machine. So in this machine, Python 3.9.7 is installed, which you have to be very careful. You have to match these two things. In the command, command prompt, command prompt is nothing but a CMD. If you just type the CMD and enter it, open this particular window, it will ask you that, okay, which Python version is there. So you have to say that PYPHON space dash dash version. It will tell you this is Python 3.9.7. Then you have to say, pip install Jupyter 
notebook. Don't worry. If you do not know anything about PIP, just learn it. This is the first time we are installing the Jupyter Notebook, which is the front end for us. Front end, nothing, but we have to enter the codes. We cannot write codes here in this command prompt because I am not comfortable writing codes here. So I, I am installing a IDE, that is development environment. So it is nothing but a you know, development environment. We have Jupyter Notebook, we have Spider, we have uh, PyCharm, you can do anything, but I am installing, I'm installing Jupyter Notebook. Just enter it and see how much time it will take. Or it will say it is already done, it is done. Now, I will say Jupyter Notebook. Remember guys, whenever you start this, uh, to write any code in Python, you have to go to the command prompt and say Jupyter Notebook here like this, and then it will open a window for you. Make sure it will run in the backend. That will be good. Otherwise, there are one other way also to run this, but you have to go a lot of folders there and see that where it is. So better just open the command prompt every time you type this uh, Jupyter Notebook, and it will take you here. So this is the particular page where you can see this is the Jupyter sign. This is the Python sign. And here it is asking me for the new Python 3 notebook. So if I click on there, Again, I'm going here. This is the Python notebook. This is the new, or you can upload also. If you have any Python notebook uh, which is saved on your system, you can upload it here. But I am opening a new Python notebook, which will look something like this. It has file, edit, view, insert, cell, kernel, widget. All these things are there. So this is the kernel. This is Python 3. Sometimes it is Python 2. Because Python 2 is an older version, so I'm not using that. So this is done. We are, we are done with this Python installation process. People are afraid of how, how to do that. And uh, in internet, you will find like a number of videos which are very complex. It is a very simple three-step process. First of all, you have to go here, download Python, download the latest version, and then go here and start Python something, Python 3.9.7 AMD64, and then go to the command prompt. And in command prompt, you just check that which version you have downloaded, and hit install Jupyter Notebook. That is very important. If you have not done that, uh, Jupyter Notebook will not open. And then after that, Jupyter Notebook. Please reverse my video and see where, what I have done. Only those two commands you have to run. Hit install Jupyter Notebook and then Jupyter Notebook, simple. So the Jupyter Notebook is the front end for me. Now the coders are saying, let us write the first program in Python, which is hello world. And to run this, say control enter or shift enter, depend upon your system. I said shift enter, which is like HP system, Windows 10, and see my command has been printed. Hello world. So print command is working. It means my Jupyter Notebook is working properly here. This is the first part. To install a Jupyter Notebook, download the Python and everything. Now we will go to the another part, which I have told you that you there you do not have to download anything. You will just go there and say, Google Colab Python. Okay, here you do not have to download anything. You just go there and say, welcome to collaboratory Google research. So Google has given you this option. This is very important. You just have to sign in with your Gmail ID and it will ask you for a new notebook. So here you can directly go to the new notebook. And you can do the similar commands here also. So Google Colab is other, another option. You do not have to download anything. Let me do that same command here as well. Hello world. So see here it is also file, edit, view, insert, runtime tools and everything. This is the command button, which is saying like how to run our cell. Control enter. Basically you have to do control enter or you can just click on that. If I just click on that and see what will happen. It is connecting, showing here. Once it is connected, my command will run there. So currently it is connect, connecting. It is a Google Colab thing, which is very simple. And you do not have to install anything as well. So Python, you can do in two ways. One is go there and install the Jupyter Notebook, or you can come to Google Colab and do this. See, my this is done, and I will take a new uh, thing here, new code, and say print. So this is your first program, guys. Say India is great, and learn, and just run it. So it is saying India is great. So my programs have been run. So two things I told you. One is Jupyter Notebook and the other is Google Colab. So try any one of them, install them, and start playing with them. Do not worry. If you get any error, Stack Overflow is the website. You can go there always and check for the errors. 
I hope you like this video. Please share it with your friends to install Python in a very simple way without even using anything. But please step process for the Jupyter Notebook and the Google Colab is very handy. So whatever you want, you can use it. But I prefer Jupyter Notebook because in the long run, you will come to know that why I'm saying that. Thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Have a good day. Thank you.